Wong. Now, my next guest tonight is a very funny comedian, and he's the star of his own show on this network, Boston Common. Here's a clip from that show. Boy, come here and look at this. This tie's all wrong. I'm just gonna start all over again. <laughs> Bad tie, yellow teeth, frizzy hair, it's official. I've become my mother. Boy, will you please look at this thing and tell me what it is? Peter, Paul, and Mary, she's got the heartbeat! Please welcome Anthony Clark! Thanks a lot for coming. Oh, thank you very much. I love being here because I love show business. And, uh, <laughs> oh, good. Uh -huh. This is good, you know. Uh, uh, I want to tell your audience right up front, don't be fooled by these uh, fancy clothes and the big intro music. Just like Siegfried and Roy, it's all smoke and mirrors, a little plastic surgery, and one dead tiger. <laughs> That's a nice approach did, to show business. Absolute. Did you hear about that? One of their tigers. <laughs> no, I didn't know. Kill the other tiger. And uh, I know they're very territorial, but... Uh, you know, the cement cage was painted like a forest, but I guess they didn't buy it. Uh, so they really killed one of the other tigers? One of the other tigers smothered the other tiger. And uh, I guess it's not that funny and all, but, you know, I'm just trying to break that. I'm so nervous, you know. I'm just, I can't shake, you know, if this whole East Coast, West Coast rivalry starts with comics, you know. <laughs> I mean, bad. that's all I need is to be watching my back for Yakov Smirnoff every 10 seconds, you know? <laughs> I mean, he knows when I'm at the improv. <laughs> it's public knowledge. Yeah, he knows when you're time, when you're up there doing your act. He knows. All right. Now, you know, you know, we have something in common here. All that's right. We, went, we both went to school in Boston. Is that That's right. That's correct. You went to Harvard. That's right. And I went to Emerson College. Uh, some of our yeah. alumni was Dennis Leary, was actually a comedy writing teacher while I was there. And they, that was something you could take at school, was yeah. comedy writing? I was there on a football scholarship, total football scholarship. <laughs> and... Wait a minute. I, Emerson doesn't have a football team, actually. Whatever, Conan. It's your show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't hate to burst your bubble or anything like that. No. It's, now, uh, you gotta be happy now. You got your own TV show. That's going I am. Well. We're so excited. We're back. Uh, last uh, Sunday night was the first of the new batch. We had this new character, uh, Roger Reese. A lot of people will know him from Nicholas Nickleby. He starred in that on Broadway. He won the Tony Award. Uh, people will know him from uh, Men in Tights, that movie. And he was Kirstie Alley's love interest for two, season on, two seasons on Cheers. So okay, so... We feel like it's a brand new show. Margot Kidder is a reoccurring character. You know, a lot of people ask me, is she okay now? And, you know, the way I look at it, if, if you know, you've never woken up in a stranger's backyard with a couple teeth missing, then you really haven't partied. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you gotta work it. You just live in the good you life. You have to pump it up for nine or seven. <laughs> you gotta seize the day. Carpe Absolutely. diem. All right. Did you always uh, want to be an actor? I mean, was this something that always interested you? Well, you know, growing up in the South, I was uh, pressured to be a trucker. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a big peer pressure, yeah. I guess. But uh, as, I, uh, <laughs> as, I, as I grew older, I discovered I was allergic to crystal meth. So uh, <laughs> I had to rethink that's, that. It's just kind of out then, yeah, huh? So, uh -huh. Yeah, so... Take your crystal meth. <laughs> yeah. Make Granny happy. Yeah. So you gotta try it one more time. Yeah, we got a big old convoy. <laughs> Remember those, the clicker oh. clickers? Did uh, you, uh, was there anything else that you dabbled in before Well, you... I tried being a master psychic, and, uh, <laughs> you know, uh -huh. there was a period where I wanted to be a ninja. Uh, <laughs> but the master psychic, I actually tried it for a while. People get upset, you know, they're like, yeah, I'm paying money here. What, what does it look like, you know, what's coming up? And I'd be like, I don't see a lot coming up for you. And <laughs> the only thing I can tell you is... I see that there might be a new Starbucks built in your neighborhood sometime <laughs> very, very soon. Uh -huh. People didn't appreciate that. No, they wanted their money back usually. <laughs> well, where, where are you, you, you're from the South. You're from uh, Virginia, is that yep, right? Yep, Gladys, Virginia. Uh, if, if you have one year left to live, you should move there because uh, <laughs> every day feels like a friggin' eternity. <laughs> That's actually the... Give it up! Oh, the kids here.
That's actually the bumper sticker they got going. Yeah, the Tourism the Bureau. Stick motto, yeah. <laughs> the uh, man, uh, did Virginia. It's nice though. You got family it still back nice there. there. Do you miss them? I, I miss them a lot. I have, uh, you know, there's my uh, cousin Eddie. It's kind of a sad story. He just finished college. Actually, went on to law school. God only knows how much he paid for law school. Two days after graduating, slips on the sidewalk, hits his head on the curb. Can't remember a friggin' thing. <laughs> You can't remember anything? Now he's walking around the house in his underwear making Miracle Whip sandwiches. <laughs> you know, giving out advice, and the advice is free, but it doesn't make any sense, you know? <laughs> it's like you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him jet ski. People don't like it. They're not... No, I'm like, Eddie, take your pills. <laughs> Noop it. Yeah. It's all good. Try some crystal meth. Uh -huh. That's right. Is there a Target down there where you are? There is. Yeah. There is. We actually bought my Nana a Chia pet at Target. Did you really? Because yeah. they probably have, a, like, an incredible selection. You can get 60 Chia pets. You can get the Chia head, the Chia bush, the Chia... <laughs> we got her the... No, they have a Chia tree. Oh, come on. <laughs> Dirty birds, all of you. <laughs> He's a nice young man you talking know? about his life. you got to admit that it's a great idea. <laughs> Yes, it is. We bought her a Chia It'll Pet. It'll be on the market in six weeks. <laughs> we got her a Chia Pet. She opened it up for Christmas. She thought it was a small dog. Oh, really? So she starts talking to it. Sit, Chia, sit. My sister's going, tell her it's a plant. It's not funny. <laughs> and, you know, I'm going, get her, Chia, get her. <laughs> She's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. That's all I know. She'll be fine. Well, the show, uh, Margot Kidder joining, I guess. Uh, Boston, Roger Reese. Yeah, Roger Reese. Boston Common Sundays at 8.30 right here on NBC. Anthony, thanks so much for hey, coming Hey, thank by. you very much. Really cool I sure do appreciate it, man. Anthony Clark, everybody. William H. Macy from Fargo is coming up later.